Hey guys, welcome to Blue Fox Outdoors. Today I'm going to talk about the Blue Fox Gifts Tin Tag. Now this is a new tournament identifier that is printed with your own custom identifier or your club with your name on it and they do sometimes come with an optional phrase at the top. Not all identifiers have this, but some do. Now this is an 025 aluminum 4 inch by 4 inch with enamel on one side with the identifier printed in full color and it's embedded into the surface of the aluminum. Now on the back side it has 1 8 inch foam which allows it to float if by some chance it ends up in the water. It also has 3M dual lock velcro on the back. Now this velcro is the same as what comes on the catch ID holder. If you can see that there, this is one of the new Catch X boards with the new Catch ID holder. Awesome board, by the way, and the holder is phenomenal. So another option is the Blue Fox clip. It's a clear plastic clip, spring-loaded. It's positionable, but it easily clips on and allows you to position it in any which way and clip on to another board or the kayak, anywhere that's going to be in frame for the picture. When putting the tin tag on the catch by ID, it does take a little bit of force to snap, so you don't have to be too gentle with it. Just don't bend it up. But if you push nice and straight, it will actually snap on, and you'll know it's stuck. As for writing on it, you can see that I use a regular black sharpie. That keeps it from coming off, especially during the day or if it gets wet or you rub on it or fish does, it's not coming off. That way you can still read it. To clean it, you can use a couple different things. My personal favorite is off. I have it in the kayak. I never forget it. Um, other things that do work are gonna be isopropyl alcohol which does sometimes lead or leave a little bit of a, a ghosted image of the letter on there. Nothing dark enough that's going to interfere with writing over top of it or with a future tournament, but it does leave a little bit of a, a ghosted image on there. Um, I've had people tell me that nail polish remover that they've stolen from their wives' work, but for me, I just use a little bit of off, just squirt it on. You can see it's starting to run and smudge. Then just take a cloth and wipe it off. Good as new. Here it is on new Catch X board. You can see it bends and moves, holds in place. When you're done with it, or you tuck it out of the way, flip it in, you're good to go. If anybody has any questions, leave me a comment below or contact me through the Blue Fox Gifts website, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you all for watching. Tight lines.